let's find the value of y which is the length of this side the first thing you will observe is this is a right angle triangle next we're going to identify the longest side the longest side is y and for the square root of 18 the square root of 18 is we draw a line and write 18. another way i can say this is this is 18 and what are all the factors of 18 that can divide 18 without remainder it is 2 it is 3 it is 6 it is 9 it is also 18. next we ask ourselves which among these factors when we put them together will give us 18. 2 times 3 cannot give us 18. 6 times 9 cannot give us 18. it is only 2 times 9 that will give us 18. next we're going to apply the law of sword that says the square root of 2 times the square root of 9. here we are going to have the square root of 9 is 3 and this will remain in its square root instead of using this i can use this by saying 2 we go into 18 and we're going to have 9. 2 cannot go into 9 without a remainder i will go with 3. 3 into 9 is 3 and 3 into 3 is 1. next i will pay this 3 got a pay 3 is free 2 got no pay i will put it inside the square root 3 multiply by the square root of 2 will give you the square root of 18. this is in short form which we obtained here you can use this method or you can use this method to find the square root of 18. next here i will write 3 root 2 centimeters instead of the square root of 18. next according to pythagoras i will write the longest side and square it next i will sum the both sides remaining and here i have 3 root 2 also squared next this is y squared and this is 4 plus according to the law of indices if i have a b all to the power of n this is a to the power of n and b to the power of n i'm going to apply this law to this i'm going to have 3 to the power of 2 and the square root of 2 all to the power of 2 according to this law this is y squared and here is 4 plus this is 9 and it will multiply this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 the square root of any number or variable is the same thing as that variable to the power of 1 over 2 the square root of 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 that's what i've just done here and this got a squared next these two we take away these two and we are left with y squared is 4 plus 9 times 2 this 9 will multiply these two and we have y squared is 4 plus 18. y squared is 4 plus 18 will give you 22. here our y is now the square root of 22. next let's try to break down 22 into its factors. 2 can go into 22 without a remainder. 3 cannot go. 4 
cannot go. But 11 can go into 22 without a remainder. 22 can also go into 22 without a remainder. There are no two combinations that will give us 22 here. The square root of 22 cannot be broken down any further in sword form. And we are going to leave our answer here. Centimeters because we have centimeters as the length. We have found the value of our y, leaving our answer in sword form.